Thank you for tuning into Prime at 9. I'm Akivito, and now the news in details. The Kremlin on Friday called comments by U.S. President Joe Biden about his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, personal insults and said Biden's remark appeared to have been fueled by irritation, fatigue and forgetfulness. Biden has labeled Putin a war criminal and a murderous dictator in recent days after the Russian leader last month sent tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine in what he called a special operation to degrade its military capabilities and root out people he called dangerous nationalists. Ukrainian forces have mounted stiff resistance against Russian forces and the West has imposed sweeping sanctions on Moscow in an effort to force it to withdraw. After 50 years, Nagaland is most likely to get a woman MP as representative for the state in the Council of State as BJP has fielded the state Mahila Morcha president, Pangnon Konyak, as the party's candidate for the biennial election. Konyak is likely to be elected to Rajya Sabha since NDPP has decided not to field any of its candidates and NPF most likely will not do so as well. Mr. Pangnon Konyak, Mrs. Pangnon Konyak will be filling up the seat that will be left vacant by incumbent NPF's KG Kenye who will retire on April 2nd. Elections to the lone Rajya Sabha seat in Nagaland will be held on March 31st. The Southern Angami Public Organization has called 72 hours total bunt from March 21st, 1 a.m. to March 23rd, 12 p.m. in connection to non-withdrawal of Manipur government armed personnel at Kezolsa and continued undertaking of developmental activities. In continuation to SAPO called for total bunt within the Southern Angami jurisdiction, the Southern Angami Youth Organization in this regard has issued further direction and information for the same. The organization informed that entry and exit of all Manipur-born private or public passengers or goods carrier vehicles, commuters coming from Manipur or applying to Manipur state will be totally restricted during the 72 hours burn period. All entry or exit points, alternative routes thereafter coming under Southern Angami jurisdiction will be thereafter have restricted entry and exit. However, vehicles on medical emergency, paramilitary vehicles, media, students, educational institutions, teachers and faculty will be exempted. Students and faculty taking entry or exit for attending educational institutions from Manipur to the Southern Angami region are requested to carry valid ID proofs. The organization further stated that the said Bund will not deter smooth and swift activities of common man in the region. Information and Broadcasting Secretary Apurva Chandra and actor R. Madhavan today inaugurated the Media and Entertainment Fortnight at the India Pavilion in Dubai Expo 2020. The idea of the media and entertainment fortnight being organized by the Information and Broadcasting Ministry is to showcase India's prowess in the sector and promote global collaborations and attract investments. In the coming fortnight, the Ministry of INB will participate in various events at the pavilion. The Ministry will also formalize an MOU with UAE for a mutually beneficial collaboration. The discussion will continue till the next few months and MOU is expected to be signed in six to eight months. The upcoming Indian movie RRR was launched globally in the presence of Secretary, the director Mr. S. S. Rajamouli and actors Mr. Ram Charan and Mr. N. T. Rama Rao Jr. The launch was done in presence of the global media houses and various key delegates from India and UAE. Leaders of the Lazami Students Union in Zunivoto district visited educational institutions in the village on March 14th and the 15th to study their functioning, according to the union. According to a press release from the union on March 18th, the union interacted with teachers and students and listed out major problems of each school and assured to place their grievances to the authorities. The union also appealed to the citizens of Lazami to extend their support towards the schools in every possible way. The union also gave updates about the conditions of the schools. Some schools need basic amenities and facilities including toilets, while there are issues of infrastructure and functioning. The union explained in the press release. Along with the rest of the country, Dimapur too celebrated the festival of colors, Holi, with great pomp and gaiety. The Hindu community of Dimapur gathered at some temple and then they could be seen enjoying the festivities. Most of the business establishments owned by Hindus had shut down to celebrate the festival. Let's have a look at the ground report.
सब दुनिया के होली मनाया निस्ता यारे जी मापू तो भी हिंदू कम्युनिटी का दिखा निस्ता हिंदू कम्युनिटी का यारे सब ये जो दुर्गा मंदिर के आए गना सेलेब्रेट कुरिया से तो अजी ये जो हिंदू कम्युनिटी का घर ने भी एक ता सब एक ता दंगर फेस्टिवल आसे और बिसी बाग यारे मोगी पार्टी एरिया और न्यू मार्केट एरिया और दूसरा अलग अलग एरिया दे दुकान गान बंद करी की नहीं था तगान सेलेब्रेट करी आसे तो मोहन दिखा निस्ता ये जो हिंदू कम्युनिटी अलग अलग तगान लगा काम अलग अलग चारी की ना यारे तगान आई की ना होली फेस्टिवल ऑफ कलर कोई ना कलर लगा फेस्टिवल तगान आजी मनिया से तो ताएगा ना ऑपोर्टी भी तगान दिस ईयर किन्हीं का सेलेब्रेट किया से तगान तो भी मुआन आरो कुरी सबो तो ताले ते सेलेब्रेट किया निस्ता ये रे प्रोग्राम ये रे तगान भी सेलेब्रेट किया से तो ताई तुरी कुरी सबो तो अब दिगान ये तो साल किन्हीं का होली तो रंग लगा फेस्टिवल आसे ना तो हमें कहने का भावना करे हमें लगा घोड़ते भी सब इन्हें का खुशी पर रंग भाई ये तो तो जहाँ साल तो कोविड पेंडेमिक भी ताकि ना रिस्ट्रिक्शन कम भी ताकि से तो इतु साल तो सिचुएशन बाल हुई ना सब मनु भी निजर निजर लास आए थे निजर घोड़े सेलेब्रेट कर आए थे तो अपने का इतु साल तो किन्हीं का डिफरेंस किया से और किन्हीं का सेलेब्रेट मनाया से बाल ताकि से ओली भी इतु साल तो बेशी बाल आए ये तो कुछ रिस्ट्रिक्शन दाई और पब्लिक लगा सपोर्ट आए सब गवर्नमेंट लगा सपोर्ट आए तो कुछ बेशी खुशी पाई आए हमें खाली बेशी खुशी पाई आए तो साल तो ना ओके दो साल तो पूरा गवर्नमेंट लगा पाबंद पतिबंद था किसी ना कोई लगा इतने तो साल तो पूरा खुला से और हमें खान सब मिल मेल मिलाप करेगा ना इतने प्रोग्राम तो इतने साल तो बेस्ट सिंबल प्राप्त है ऐसे अपने लगा होली फेस्टिवल एक्सपीरियंस किन्हीं का सेलेब्रेट किया से एंड हाउ आर यू एन्जॉयिंग आई एम एन्जॉयिंग वेरी नाइस we have to play with uh, we have to play with gulal not with pakarang ami khan laga eto seven rang ase na eto sab mili kine eke logote thake ar sab manu logote mili kine etu eke ekta ekta pub ase etui kori ase sab logote mile etu color seven rang etu eke logote mili kine eke nishinika hoye jay etui kahani ase holi laga thank you in a shocking incident, almost around 100 endangered species of vultures were found dead in the Milanpur area of Assam's Kamrup district. In what was termed as a catastrophic incident, the Divisional Forest Office of Kamrup Rural, Dimpi Bora, informed Hornbill TV that 97 carcasses of the species of the Himalayan griffin vulture was found late on March 17th, including a live eagle and two more vultures on March 18th, with another expired eagle. Bora informed that after consulting experts, the suspected cause of death was due to pesticide poison. Eleven vultures are informed to have been rescued from the area. Uh, it was in Milanpur area near Chaga. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we got the uh, one information that around uh, like uh, uh, around more than fifty vultures, mm -hmm. uh, they have found dead mm -hmm. there. So we uh, immediately we visited this spot, but we found that more than like it was around uh, hundred. So uh, at first we found ninety-seven dead vultures, and uh, we uh, rescued twelve vultures. Uh, uh, Eleven vultures and one eagle. So oh. and we found one. Yes, yeah. So we found one carcass of a cow, dead cow, mm -hmm. and few bones of uh, probably a goat as well. So uh, we bones have of, sorry, bones of what? Goat, goat. Okay, goat. Okay. Yes. So uh, we uh, we were in touch with uh, Dr. Ranadi of Vulture Breeding Centre. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is in uh, Rani. Okay. So Dr. As per his instruction, he asked uh, us to meet the vultures uh, vomit, uh, poisoning as a cause of their death. Mm -hmm. So uh, then that's why uh, since we immediately make them uh, vomit. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, uh, we we were able to rescue at least few. So out of this twelve rescued ones, mm -hmm. uh, one eagle and eleven vulture. One uh, one uh, one uh, expired on sperm and, uh, while uh, uh, on the way okay. uh, to uh, yes, on the way towards Rani. Mm -hmm. And we burned the carcasses because as per doctor, since it's uh, he has suspected uh, the cause as furodon. Uh, it's a pesticide. Okay. Uh, uh, so he has suspected furodon poisoning. 
the symptoms are like that and immediately those who were alive he has given atropine sulfate for their relief and uh, e- even in the morning also we once again visited the field because uh, during night no we thought ki maybe um, uh, uh, it happens to sometimes no um, uh, we may miss few so mm-hmm. exactly in the morning also we visited when we found another two dead vultures and one eagle uh, dead eagle uh, so, uh, this yeah. morning ma'am Yes, this morning also. Okay. So now the total vulture, uh, you can, dead vulture count is uh, 100 and uh, one eagle. Vultures, Himalayan griffon vulture is uh, 100 mm-hmm. and CP eagle one. We have rescued uh, 12 out of which one, one already, uh, one is dead now. Yes. So total 11 rescued. Uh, eagle uh, yesterday we we were able to rescue one eagle right mm-hmm. and death happened for another one eagle okay. so actually we found two eagles so one one dead and one rescued it was 108 vultures yes ma'am yesterday it was 108 vultures out of which 97 dead and 11 were rescued actually doctor is almost confirmed because all the symptoms are like that and uh, there is another one um, uh, pesticide diclofenac the doctor is saying that it cannot be diclofenac because uh, that no it affected very immediate like so immediately after consuming and they have started dying and ma'am uh, are these endangered vultures yes it's scheduled one species yes yes it's quite shocking for us as well Okay. because earlier uh, such incidents happen uh, a few times but it was hardly one or two mm-hmm. that but this time it's uh, like no catastrophic kind uh, people in this region they usually poison the dead animals so that the dogs they can feed on them and uh, their target is actually dog but unfortunately uh, yeah, the death of all these vultures happen okay so now we will uh, we will uh, we have to you know Uh, conduct many, you know, few awareness days in those areas. Mm-hmm. We have uh, suspected a person. We we already detained one, mm-hmm. but still means uh, like uh, inquiry is going on. We are not sure. Mm-hmm. That, like uh, though we have detained him on the basis of some information, but mm-hmm. again, uh, like uh, uh, we cannot be hundred percent sure that he has done that. So oh. still the inquiry is going on. Okay, ma'am. So let's see how it works, and the culprit will be. Uh, uh he will be uh, uh, like punishable under uh, uh, wildlife uh. the zoological department of st joseph university organized the two day national conference on anthropology biological diversity and affinities the conference is being sponsored by science and engineering research board defense research and development organization indian national science academy and council of science and industrial research speaking to hornbill tv one of the students stressed on the importance of such programs and how she has been enlightened by different topics under anthropology let us get more details from reporter krishnayo kev here at uh, st joseph university to attend a uh, two days national conference on anthropology biological diversity and affinities so we're here with uh, an assistant professor from zoological department st joseph university we have a student with us and also a uh, Uh, and also a resource person so we'll get uh, details from them as to how this program is going on about and would they further encourage programs like this in their university and other universities and colleges as well first of all we'll speak to their assistant professor uh, their assistant professor magdalene so okay so we the department of zoology st joseph university is organizing a two days national conference on the theme anthropology biological diversity and affinities a critical rethinking on the current issues in india so the national conference is sponsored by um drdo csir dst serb and insa and the program is a two days program which have started yesterday we have began with an inaugural session yesterday where several resource person and scientists came and shared their knowledge to the students present here so we have um resource persons from various part of india such as new delhi calcutta and um, tamil nadu we also have from northeastern region such as mizoram and then manipur and even in nagaland universities so there are various um abstracts 
from several scholars which have been uh, submitted and they are presenting. So we have uh, more than 100 abstracts and we are given the platform for both online presentation and offline presentation where we began yesterday. And we also have several oral presentations which will be going on today. Uh, for this uh, conference because I can see here the co conglomeration of huge number of students, almost more than 250 participants. So uh, they will get benefited, okay? they'll get inf inspired by uh, the lectures, whatever they are I mean, like, uh, witnessing from the resource persons. Okay? And uh, they, can, they can get inspiration and, and uh, they can use this information for their own work. How is your experience and how do you think it's benefiting you and your friends? We are learning a lot from the scientists, resource person and students who have gathered from all around the country they are, as they are presenting their studies work on the biological issues enduring in the prevalent uh, issues today, today. So we are so thankful to the university, our department and sponsor agencies for organizing such conference and we are looking forward for more conference like this. Thank you. Speaking to us, so this was Hornbill TV speaking to uh, the professors, the resource person, and a student of today's program. So uh, they've said that this program is very be beneficial to them, and they're also looking forward to uh, more programs like this. For now, this is it. I'm reporter Kia Christine Kyoho with camera person Ketolen. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday accused Ukrainian authorities of stalling peace talks and said that Moscow was ready to search for solutions. The German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has called for a ceasefire in Ukraine during a phone call with the Russian president earlier in the day, a German government spokesperson said. According to a spokesman, the telephonic conversation between the two leaders that lasted for nearly one hour scolds pressed Putin to make progress in finding a diplomatic solution and told him the humanitarian situation needed to improve. In talks with Scholz, Putin also stressed that Russian troops were doing their best to save civilians, including through safe corridors. Meanwhile, in another phone call on Thursday, Putin spoke with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and told him about Russia's precise demands for a peace deal with Ukraine. Russian missiles on Friday targeted a facility used to repair military aircraft near the airport in Lviv, the Ukrainian authorities said, as the war entered the 23rd day. However, no casualties were reported during the strike. News agency AP reported several missiles hit a facility center used to repair military aircraft and damaged a bus repair facility, though no casualties were immediately reported. The plant had suspended work ahead of the attack. Lviv Mayor Andrei Sadyovik said, according to the Ukrainian Air Force's Western Command, the missiles were launched from the Black Sea, but two out of six missiles were shot down. A soldier who was witness to the strike said he heard three explosions in quick succession around 6 a.m. A nearby resident described his building vibrating from the explosions and people panicking. Also known as the cultural capital of Ukraine, Lviv has not been spared by the relentless Russian attacks which have been going on for the 23rd straight day. The city's population has now swelled by some 2 lakh after people from different cities have sought refuge here. Hillstar Cinema Hall Dimapur is screening the trending Bollywood film, The Kashmir Files, directed by Vivek Agnihotri. According to reports, the film is all set to cross rupees 100 crore within this week. Our reporter visited Hillstar Cinema Hall in Dimapur to get a review from the audience. Let's have a look at the detailed report. Bollywood movie, The Kashmir Files, is trending. We have a news media. So, Dimapur, Hill Star Cinema Hall day, Aji Brotahan morning eleven brat, the whole start curious. To it, Amigan Dikese, the ticket Kerne Manuhan Bishi line up curious, or the actor adult Manubi Taibi Savole Garne, the Karagurias, I load all of you. The Kashmir file to Kenega movie. To ah, it is a very nice movie. Really, it is uh, once previously I seen Hakikat. The reality is there. And so in Kashmiri file, also reality is there. So I am very anxious to see this movie. And the time is written here 5 p.m. So I shall see, I shall come with my family and I shall see this movie. 
So I have loved uh, looking movies, no? These things of Okastokas I do not like. But since reality is there, so I want to see. Sir, you've watched or not? You haven't. Huh? You haven't watched the movie? Not yet. Not yet, not yet yes. Okay, so you're excited? Yeah, 100% excited. Uh, along with my family. Uh, I have left Holly of and I shall watch this movie. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to know that. Aru ticket kati asih tiap the Kashmir file movie sahulai kerana takkan nanti ulo fudi. Wo kiman excited asih takkan? Yes, apni kiman excited asih the Kashmir movie kerana. Wajib besi excited asih, because mobi wait kuriya sili ekap tapura laga nae 8 pm laga show asile. Kalau bi aziz pura he 11 aru 5 pm laga show start. Toh mabe sob ke mau request kuru bo as Indian, aye kene ab hal pura ekbar sabi. Kile apni. Because itu real fact asih Kashmir te chun Kashmir laga minority kan ke kene kat takkan. As an exotic condition, it will be a great deal. Thank you. I mean, you know, the only thing that you can see is that you can see how much you can see this movie. It's very exciting. It's very good. 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 Where are you? It's a colony. It's a colony. It's a colony. It's based on true event story. That's why we came to see this movie. Indian citizen is here. How are you excited? We are very excited to see the shop. We have told our friends that we are going to see today. We will get a little bit of knowledge about the Kashmir. How are the Kashmiri Pandit people and not? We have seen some of the truth today. We have seen some of the Kashmiri Pandit people. अलग सोर्सेस से भी जान सकता है मगर आप मूवी को क्यों इतना डिपेंड कर रहे हैं इसलिए क्योंकि उतना जानकारी तो है नहीं हम लोग को फुर्सत तो कभी मिला नहीं हम लोग को तो आज आया देखने के लिए कुछ जानकारी मिलेगा तो पता चलेगा कैसा क्या हुआ उन लोग का साथ कैसा कुछ नहीं हुआ क्या सच है क्या झूठ नहीं है हम लोग भी देख के थोड़ा जानकारी रहेगा तो इसलिए देखने आया आज में The Kashmir file movie saw like any manu itya bishi aya si ami an dikhiya si. Iti aro ek jon ase tai lodi hodi wo yes kine ka kiman excited ase movie saw le. Yeah bishi excited ase. Ido ne TV kani to khande saig ne do bishi malab phalo bo nisna lagi na ne saw le ha. Kiba ek ta reason diu baru wo itu excitement. Excitement do iman popularity paya si. Aro multimedia ido kan social media khande bi bishi kiki ulay si na exact do kia si ido saig ne jani bolu mon. It is the main reason though. No. I'm going to talk about the movie Saoli Gushi. I'm going to talk about the movie Saoli Gushi. I'm going to talk about the movie Saoli Gushi. I'm going to talk about the movie Saoli Gushi. Yes. What do you think about this movie? Yes, I'm going to talk about the movie Saoli Gushi. Yes. What do you think about the movie Saoli Gushi? Five. Five. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the movie Saoli Gushi. Yeah. What do you think about the movie Saoli Gushi? Rating tu ini, kami five te three point five. Kita bahagia si movie tu. Movie tu, mana tu bahagia laga laga tu nai. Ini just normally Kashmiris bandit laga refugee hoi jala, takkan laga gorde wapas jala laga kahani itu ya sih. Both side pi dikhai, both side tu full dikhai nai. Pas other side laga story tu, kau nak pergi beli bi. Hoi, ini Kashmiri bandit kah ni lelup sabo lagi. Of ni, kiman rating tu untuk the Kashmir file ke? Four, four. Why? Uh, the movie was good. Actually, we are not aware about the Kashmiri Pandits and all, and they have shown the things, how how was happened, what was happened. Do you, do you believe that the, everything that was shown in the movie is true and fact? No, I, I can't say it was fully fact, but it was fact. So, Dimapur is the Hill Star Cinema, the Kashmir file. Do you morning brother hole start to jaise. So, today I am going to review all the things. review you have seen, there are four days, there are three days. आरु सब मन्ना रिव्यू अलग अलग आसे तो अमिगन इतिहास ट्रेंडिंग मूवी आसे तो अमिगन हॉर्नबिल टीवी भी ऐते दीमा पूर्ति किन्हें का मनोन भावना लोए वो इन अमिगन आई के ना तो ऐते हिलस्टार सिनेमा हॉल ते दिखे तो इमान बिसी पैक तो थकाने मनुगन होली भी ऐते अमिगन सिनेमा हॉल लगा स्टाफ्स खान लोट जानी से दिन दिन वही ना साम दे मनु बिसी आए सावले नेगा कोई ना भी जानी से अमिगन तो अमिगन इतु रिपोर्ट तो इलेदे हिलस्टार सिनेमा हॉल दीमा पूर्व वाल लोई से मोल दे कैमरा ते ऐसे पंकज मो रिपोर्टर जीवन रे फॉर हॉर्नबिल टीवी